Okay, is this recording? I think we're recording. Okay, camera recording. Let's get some lights on. Hang on. Probably shouldn't have a cocktail shaker here. Camera recording. Oh, look at that. Focus on everything. I'm trying to be a respectable accountant. Let's have a book instead. What's the white balance look like? So this came about because I was walking through the graveyard the other day. On the way down to town to buy a record. To buy... To buy this record. Face tracking work on a picture? There we go. When I noticed a sweet, smoky, kind of earthy smell, I recognised it. Wait, back up a bit. This is episode zero of a series of videos about how to start a limited company. If you are in a rush to get a company started, skip to episode one. You don't need to know this. If you want to start a company, you probably need an idea. Maybe not. Maybe you're just practicing or starting a general company to sell your services and you don't need an idea for a business. Or probably you have an idea already. Well, I can't help you to have good ideas, but I can tell you the idea I had. Oh, and before we start properly, thank you to everyone who subscribed. Uh, I started this channel to give a few bits of video advice to some clients and we've just passed a thousand subscribers. This isn't a clickbait junk channel. This isn't what YouTube is built for. I didn't expect anyone to find these videos. And yet here we are. Okay, maybe this video is clickbait junk. The rest though, solid accounting advice. <laughs> right, back to the explanation. So I was, as I say, walking through the graveyard the other day when I noticed that sweet, smoky, earthy smell. And I thought, that reminds me of Amsterdam. That reminds me of California. I realized it was cannabis. I thought I should buy some, smoke some tonight, listen to this record. So I went to the record shop, got the record, went to the corner shop to buy some cannabis. There was beer, whiskey, cigarettes, vape pens, no cannabis. So I went to the pharmacy. There were pain pills, hair loss chemicals, flavored lubricants, no cannabis. I thought the guys in the craft beer shop might have some. They've got beer, 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 coffee, nice coffee. Uh, cheese, they actually had some really good Stilton. So I'll take these beers, this Stilton, and do you sell cannabis? N no, we don't. Do you know where I can buy some? N no, we don't. So I was disappointed. You understand. But I saw an opportunity. I mean, I'm an accountant. I start businesses. I've got a chemistry degree. We're in a recession, so people need jobs. And we're still living with COVID, so people need to have fun on nights in. I thought I'd start a company. Also, I'm just hooked on watching Canna Cribs on YouTube. Hi, my name is Nate, owner of Grower's House, one of the top suppliers of cultivation equipment in the world. So I started thinking about what I would need. A loan, a big industrial unit, some seeds, some plant and equipment, staff, training, a big splashy launch, distribution, maybe a celebrity endorsement or two. At first I thought I should check out my competition. So I googled UK cannabis companies. There was medical cannabis, there was cannabis investment funds, there was regulatory changes, and that's when I realised. Cannabis is illegal in the UK. I'll admit that was a blow to my plans. Maybe, I thought, this was one of those old laws that's still on the books, like how you can shoot a Welshman in Chester on a Sunday if you're left-handed. Like, it's there, but nobody really, you know, it's not real. So I did a little research into why it was illegal. My name is Fab Five Freddy. I'm a long-time cannabis advocate. The history of cannabis in America has long been tied to the history of music in America. We're not the war on drugs, we're fighting the war on drugs. Racism. It was 
a vicious act of racism done by explicitly racist people to criminalize and control the lives of black Americans. What that's got to do with us in Britain, I don't know. I guess we just do whatever bullshit America tells us. But things are changing, laws are changing, cannabis is being grown legally in many states in America and other countries around the world too. It'll happen here, maybe not this year, maybe not this decade, but it'll happen. So I came up with a new plan. If there are no recreational cannabis companies in the country, I'll start the first one. That'll be something to boast about to the grandkids. I won't grow or advertise or so much as touch a hemp plant. I won't put cannabis in the name of the company. I will plant and grow a couple of chili plants each year, just so I can sell the chilies for a couple of quid and say the company is trading. Hungarian black, Apache F1 red, lemon drop yellow. And one day, the law will change and we will grow an actual cannabis plant and proudly state, established 2021, the oldest cannabis company in England. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. I've been meaning to start a new company so I can show people on YouTube how easy it is to start a company. As I hope this demonstrates, you don't need a very serious idea to start a company. Just start one for fun. Follow along at home so you know how it works. You can shut it down later without using it or just leave it open for the joke. Give shares to your friends at Christmas. We live in a corporate world. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but it's true. You should learn a little bit about how this works. I hope you'll join me. I'll see you in episode one. I think I've got tea on my t-shirt. I need to get changed. <laughs>